My name is Dura Al-Fadli, I'm an electrical engineering student, uh, third year. My name is Sarah Hazim, I'm a third year electrical engineering student. My name is Sarah Al-Ghahtani, I'm a third year electrical engineering student. We participated in the GCC Robotics Competition. We were supposed to create a robot that goes through six rounds. The first round was Kuwait Towers, we were supposed to move them. And the second round is Saudi Arabia, we were supposed to uh, switch on and off a switch. Uh, the third round was to uh, uh, move the pearls of Bahrain into their holes. Fourth round was to uh, shoot and score a ball. Uh, it was for Qatar and the fifth round was to program the robot to follow the line and this was UAE uh, The final round was to follow a maze and this was for Oman What we did for the competition is create a robot uh, using uh, Lego and EBT microcontroller We used three ultrasonic sensors and three color sensors uh, The color sensors are used for the line following and the ultrasonic sensors are used for the maze what we did for the other four uh, rounds, they were remote controlled. We needed different hands to do different tasks. Uh, we had the Kuwait towers. Uh, we needed it was to move an obstacle, the Kuwait towers. So we needed a steady hand uh, to grab it and move it from one place to another. And then we did another hand for the Bah uh, Bahrain uh, round to grab a ball that was uh, hang. Uh, by a string to grab it and take it and put it in a hole. Uh, so we used a grabbing hand. For the Qatar round we did a shooting hand uh, to score a ball into the net uh, and to avoid uh, the goalkeeper. We also did another uh, hand for the Saudi Arabia switch. It was uh, a hand to, uh, that moves up and down that grabs the switch and moves it up and down three times. It took the three of us around two months to build the robot and test it before the competition. I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Taha and Dr. Ahmed Rishti for helping us and guiding us throughout building the robot and testing the robot. Uh, they've done a very great job in instructing us. We would also like to thank AUM for providing this opportunity for us and uh, supplying us with the equipment we need for completing the task and completing this project.